Oh, that's so good. And now all I can think about is that I want Jordan Peele to make an Evil Dead movie. I love this. The visuals are fantastic. Jesus. That is so disturbing. Just a couple of silly friends. <laughs> Welcome back to Two Friends React. I'm Enough. And I'm Ed. And we are going to head right back into part two of Nope. Uh, please make sure to check out the description for our Patreon. You can vote on what we watch next for only $2 and find all the fun, exclusive content, Discord community, early access. All right, let's get back into this. Ooh. Ooh. All right, Gordy. Gordy. Oh, Gordy, the monkey. Okay, we're getting a flashback with the monkey. Listen to that breathing. <laughs> You'd think there would be people with tranquilizers on set for that? No? I, I, I mean, I don't know. I've been on some sets before, but never any, and then, and never any set with an animal. So I, I don't know how that works. But you, you'd think they would have all the necessary precautions so that a monkey couldn't a, a chimp couldn't brutally murder several people. Several I mean, people. Hollywood is not exactly known for taking good precautions of, for anything. This is true. <laughs> this is very true. But even still, like security, it wasn't called. It just it 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 seems to me just a little bit surreal. Oh my God, Jesus Christ, that was disturbing. That was very disturbing. Oh. Jesus. Sound design. This movie just escalated. This this just escalated awful quick. Like this looks like it's been going on long enough that security would have shown up. No? Yeah. So it's a little surreal in, in that regard, but like this what just is, popped the balloon? I don't know. This is disturbing. Like, I am uncomfortable right now with how... Why is the... Yeah, the there's something shoe, else going on. What is with the shoe just sitting there? I was waiting for that. I don't know if it was supposed to, but there was a little bit of movement from the dead extras in the background. <laughs> like I saw someone sort of lift an arm or something. That is legitimately scary. Yeah, I hate it. Do chimps eat flesh? Like, it was clearly showing the chimp eating the little girl. Or at least tearing at her with its teeth. Yeah, he mentions he mentions earlier that he and the chimp invented the the fist bump. Fuck. <laughs> yeah. Wow. So that's what happened to the chimp. Well, I guess they, security they... got there. Jesus Christ, that was that was a like. I talk about I, I talked about this in some of our other reviews, like tone not always matching. Mm-hmm. That scene feels almost out of place with what we've seen so far, because like there's been nothing gory or disturbing aside from that scene so far, and that was horrific to watch. Yeah, it's reminding me of something. It it adds a level of tension and expectation that otherwise wouldn't be there. Uh huh. Feeling good. Yeah. I'm still tense and uncomfortable like a few minutes after that scene. Like, oh, oh man. Midsummer. When I saw Midsummer, I was not given content warnings and I was actively suicidal. And the film has very graphic suicide scenes, including like how it begins, is very graphic. And uh, that did not go well. Worst part was that the person who took me to see it and did not give me content warnings had already seen it. 
and knew that I was in that bad of a place. My, I can feel my heart racing now just thinking about it. Like, Yeah, that, that I'm sorry that happened to you. That That's awful. But yeah, it has a it, very like where the beginning is just like really intense. And it its purpose, I think, is to set a a tone that otherwise would not be present. I, mm-hmm. I think that there may have been other ways to do that uh, design wise. But um, that's that, I think that's what it was reminding me of. I think it's that begs the question, should movies like in their advertising or at least somewhere easy to find have content warnings on them? Like in addition to like rated R for violence, gore and nudity. Well, that's not going to tell you if there is sexual assault, which can be very triggering for a lot of people. It's not going to tell you if there's suicide, which can be very triggering for a lot of people. It's not going to tell you if the gore is realistic or not. Like. Anyone who wants nowadays with the internet, it's very easy to go online and find content warnings for anything. But you're not necessarily, it's like, oh, it's just like a, you know, random horror movie, you know, you're not necessarily going to think about it, right? Yeah, exactly. Especially Um, since I was going with someone who had already seen it. Yeah. (laughs) Yeah. And it's, it is particularly difficult when you're trying not to get spoiled, you know, that's the other thing. It's it's where where's the line between content warning and spoilers? But mm-hmm. how do you how do you balance that? You want to make it accessible and safe for everyone, but you also don't want to ruin or or, or or somehow damage the experience for the majority of people. My focus for the few years prior to getting sick was on how we tell stories, difficult stories, real stories, without re-traumatizing our audience especially having grown up in a haunted house a lot of my early life was spent traumatizing people and as I got older and like went to therapy and dealt with my own traumas and stuff I realized that that was not something I wanted to keep perpetuating whether intentionally or accidentally because I didn't design it well enough Um, and a lot of that was inspired by accidentally throwing an audience member into a panic attack that wasn't the reaction that I was looking for I was looking for an emotional (laughs) reaction but not that one (laughs) yeah and it really sent me on this years-long spiral and uh, research and development looking at how we tell these stories in healthier ways how we deal with trauma and scary things (laughs) without hurting our audience because you can harm your audience and I felt like Midsummer missed the mark a little bit on that one I haven't felt that way with this film to be clear with no but um yeah it is something that I think about a lot (laughs) the party wound up in the horse crap that seems appropriate (laughs) applause for my Amber nice suit <laughs> Mary Jo Elliott everyone yeah oh she survived nice although clearly horribly like disfigured from I'm guessing from the, the face cover mm-hmm. Are you ready? I'm assuming that these events are connected because there were some like supernatural type things the, the way the shoe on the, the way set, the shoe yeah. was um was sitting up and the popping balloons. And the balloons that were popping without anybody. But yeah. it was the the camera's focus on that single shoe sitting up weirdly was definitely mm-hmm. a part of it. Yeah. What if I told you that in about an hour you're all going to be dead? See, every Friday for the last six months, my family and I have bore witness to an absolute spectacle the last six months so let me take you back to that first night (laughs) right here in this exact spot i come over to wrangle a chestnut horse i love how it's like not that crowded but there are people there i feel like they they nailed the perfect size of the audience (laughs) on my wife and children's lives that at 6.13 p.m., I see 
A flying saucer. Old Trigger took off straight into the gulch. It's like he was going home. <gasps> Lucky! Aww. I love I love that you saw the guy pulling the 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 tarp away, the curtain. That was just kind of funny. We are being surveilled by an alien species I call the viewers. <laughs> meta. Yeah. Very meta. <laughs> if they didn't, I don't think any of us would be here right now. <laughs> so as I said, in just under an hour. I like the misters. It's it hot in California. Mm. But first, my boys are gonna come out and do a little number for us. Would that be all right? Oh! All right. My <laughs> it's here a bit early, I think. Cloud looks familiar. It's breathing. Uh, uh, stay in your seats. This is new. Uh, they're early. Welcome to the Star Lasso Experience. Only at Jupiter's... This is like modern day animal sacrifices. Oh my god, yeah. Up, during the event. Bear with us now. <laughs> Look, he's like, no thanks. <laughs> oh, it, it just disappeared. Now sit back. Stay in your seats and enjoy the Star Lasso experience. Oh no, not the Icy's. No. You see the sh you see the shadows of people being sucked up. Good noticing. Yeah. That's a mouth. Oh, we saw this earlier. So we were seeing up its throat. So he just he just served them up on a platter for this thing. Sure did. <laughs> this is a hell of a ride. The Star Lasso Experience. Happy trains. It's closing time. Yes, it is. Hasta la vista. Adios. Hasta la vista. Adios. <laughs> Aw, cute little piggy. That's, that's a normal place for a pig. Yep. Everything's fine. Totally normal. Yeah, this is fine. But it's interesting. He seemed to imply that it comes by every night at 6.13 p.m. So why did it come early this time? <gasps> Lucky's okay, because he couldn't get sucked <laughs> up out of that. But this movie kills a lot of kids. That's because, uh, like, I you, you saw a hand of one of the kids' costumes gone. Mm. Like, on the, on the ground there. Okay. Oh, it must have been much farther away. It looked much smaller. Oh, there it is. Lucky, come on, come on. Come on. Lucky's like, no. Yeah. He's a lucky horse. He survived. He is definitely lucky. We heard the screaming in the distance earlier. <laughs> now we know what it is. But what was that popping sound? At first, I thought it was something breaking the sound barrier, but I don't know. It's not that big. Mm -mm. I was expecting it to be a lot bigger to suck up that many people. Reminds me a little bit of like a stingray. Yeah. You know, flat with a mouth on the bottom. Alright. See you tomorrow. See ya. I feel like at this point you could offer him a place to stay in the storm. Like Yeah, when you're out in the country, you don't usually have developed roads that are 
good for flooding. And it's not and like the... that car is designed for... I wear my sunglasses at night. <laughs> Why does it if it's if it's not a machine though if it's a, a living thing what what is it about it that interrupts electric electric fields and batteries and stuff? Good question. Yeah. Hey, come on. It's alive, El. It's an animal. It's territorial, and it thinks that this is its home. <laughs> home. <laughs> We're in trouble. But it doesn't seem to be able to go into buildings. We don't know what it can do. It hasn't tried yet. A lot of rain. Not anymore, because it's right above. Who the hell is that? Who the hell is that? It's fun. Somebody! No, please get it down Oh, I guess it just swallowed? Like... What did it do that they just stopped screaming? Oh, God. I don't know. I guess it just something it's ejecting happened. all of the all of the physical all of the non-organic matter. Mm. That's what happened. It it's it's ejecting, it's 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 puking up, throwing up whatever, all of the non-organic matter. That's what happened at the beginning. Why did it just focus on a shot of a woman we don't know? I assume their mom. <laughs> We're fucked. That's a great effect. Oh, that's so good. And now all I can think about is that I want Jordan Peele to make an Evil Dead movie. I love this. The visuals are fantastic. Jesus. That is so disturbing. He's just going to wait for it to go away. Oh no! Thought he might try to draw it away. I guess Lucky isn't so lucky anymore. Oh no. He is. Um... <laughs> yeah. No. Nope. Yep. Now we're waiting for that. How come we'd never, like, no one had ever seen blood spots or anything before? What is that? That's the horse. The horse decoy. Oh. Uh... I mean, Jupe isn't going to want it back anymore, so. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think that's going to do a lot, but okay. You do, in, in moments of crisis and stuff, you'll do any little thing just to make you feel like you have a little bit of control. <gasps> Lucky's okay! Yay! That is a very lucky horse. Oh, she's coming. Let's go. Yeah. Get, get the hell out of that valley. You should go faster. What are you looking at? Slowing down your travel time. Well, he was safe in the car, so maybe they should still get in the car. Mm -hmm. Oh, there's that soft popping noise again. Yay! 
Yay! You made it out of the valley! Getting stoned seems like an appropriate response. Yeah, you know, that thing kind of is like a dragon, like a mythical, mythological, like, great beast, a dragon that just swoops in and takes whatever it wants. Mm -hmm. I'm here in Agua Dulce, California, and the whereabouts of those 40 guests and employees of a local western oh, no. are still unknown. <laughs> this guy's like, oh, it's dangerous? I'm in. <laughs> you never go wrong with a fried fish sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> I got paint. <laughs> yeah. Trying to dis trying to diffuse the tension with humor. Like I get it. Like also, I love a fried fish sandwich. That tartar does have tang. Well, I assume y'all are crashing at mine. Right, because you can. Because <laughs> I'm not going Aww. back to the fucking monster umbrella. Mm-mm. They lucky out. The shit to do. Always. He's going back? That's not a great idea. I mean, it's the only life he knows. He lost his father. Like, he's still grieving for his father, right? And this thing inadvertently killed his dad. Like, he's not thinking straight. Like, he is in mourning and grieving process still. And he hadn't dealt with it. Hey, poor horse. Cooped up all night like that. Yeah, must I do appreciate starving. that they're caring for the horse. The horse must be starving. And the horse, that might be, is the is Lucky the only one left? I get the sense that he is. There's a wheelchair on your roof. <laughs> that cloud, they moved a goddamn inch. See? I didn't say it's not noticeable. I said I wouldn't have noticed. <laughs> You know, so ancient How do we say it? It's gonna get hungry again. So you know, just ring the dinner bell. Oh, and we know it. It doesn't only come out at night now. We know because it came out during the day and ate all the people. Little fake horse and flags mess it up good. I bet they ain't gonna fuck with flags like that in a minute. We're not the reason it settled down here. That was Juke. He got caught up trying to tame a predator. That's Siegfried and Roy. The sense I get, maybe I'm maybe I'm wrong. Um, you know, our viewers who've seen this, please please sound off if 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 you got a different sense. But was that Jupe had been doing it for a while? He'd been doing this show. This wasn't the first time he'd been doing the show, or maybe it was the first time he did the show. But he'd been feeding the thing horses for a bit now. It yeah. seems. Um, I got the sense like he'd been he'd been feeding it horses, like maybe not every night, but like because uh, Jupe knew it was coming. Right. And at mm -hmm. 613, he knew it was coming. Uh, and then the thing, you know, no, that must that must have been the first time he was doing the big show. Mm. Right. But how come it didn't come at other times? Because there's just a whole buffet there of people in general. So why did it only come out now when there was the big show? Unclear. Maybe. It was an easier location. They were all very easy to pick up in that thing, where as opposed to going in and out of buildings and stuff. True. That's a possibility. We don't know what level of intelligence this thing has. We have no concept of level of intelligence. I got it. Sorry, separate thing, although related. They tried using a chimp in TV, a creature you can't really control, and it went berserk and killed a lot of people mm -hmm. and he tried using for the exact same thing he didn't learn his lesson he tried using a trained animal that he thought he had some idea of how to control and with dire consequences yeah uh, i think i think that's the connection here i agree um between, but that's why Jupe's character was a child star with the monkey and everything, with the chimp and everything else. I think that's the connection there. But yeah, I think the the number one thing that is preventing me from having clear answers is, is what is the level of this creature's intelligence? Is it purely animalistic? Does it have a little bit greater intelligence? Is it just feeding? I don't know. And I don't think we're supposed to know yet. Unclear. Also... 
I think that animals in general tend to have more intelligence than humans generally give them credit for. Yes, but you're right. But I'm I'm referring here to more like animalistic intelligence versus human intelligence. Like animals don't plan, right? They 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 hunt in packs, and they and and a lot of animals have like strategies for hunting and things like that. But they don't plan ahead. The the one of the big things that separates humans from uh from most animals is we plan weeks, months, years in advance, whereas part of that is because we're able to right it could just you know we we know where our meals are coming from those of us fortunate enough to 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 live you know in a comfortable lifestyle you know um so we can plan um i don't know i've never seen inside the mind of a whale i don't know if it plans or not <laughs> that's true um but yeah, it's it's that's the big like we don't know what what kind of intelligence this thing has. We really don't mm -hmm. know. Yeah. Um, and I feel like that's a very important piece of the puzzle. Who is gonna go down there? Me. Not a hero without self sacrifice. Made her myself. No electricity. Um I was like why why nice. why does he have such an old camera but yeah that's the <laughs> that was hilarious i love that you don't look at it unless you want his attention okay. good night mr stone man <laughs> you know lauren with the inflatable flailing arm man yeah because the word's getting out mm. and when it does sorry dead people arch closed <laughs> How are there not a shit ton of cops or something? Yeah. Dumbo. That's the one I wanted anyway. <laughs> She's a seamstress. Skills coming into use. Mmm. He's big. He's mad. He's big mad. But anything with a spirit can get broke. So you break it. I'll get the shot. This guy's like a storm chaser. <laughs> well, I came down to Earth and I hid in a tree. I said, Mr. Purple People Eater. Well, he looked at me and in a voice so gruff. I wouldn't eat you because you're so tough. <laughs> He was a one-eyed, one-horned, flying purple people leader. It's a silly. <laughs> How does Michael Wincott not get more work? That guy is so cool. That's just sad to see. Oh, that's the sweater from the Scorpion King. It was the first movie he worked on with his dad. Oh, nice. Well, I'm going to have that song stuck in my head for a week. Jean Jacket. Jean Jacket! That was the name of the horse uh, from, like, that they were having a flashback about how that horse was, that was the horse that she was going to train on, and then I didn't quite catch it what exactly, like, they didn't, or the dad wasn't present or something, but. Yeah. How exquisitely stupid is that? <laughs> it's a good line. What's the point of the flying? Also, where do they get that many? Jesus. They're supposed to be prey. Right. Attract attention. But where did they get so many of them? Like, did they oh, just steal she them? Went, she went to, yeah. She stole them from, like, a car place. But there's so many. Must have been a place that sells them. But even still, like, it seems weird that she just stole them. I don't know. It doesn't matter. I'm overthinking it. I feel like we have already established that she likes to steal things. Which, who doesn't? Yeah. <laughs> Be gay, do crime. 
Oh, it also lets them know when where it is because the power will go out. Right, it creates a perimeter. Who's this? Who's this asshole? <laughs> Shot. You see that cloud? Who are you? Nobody. You don't look like a nobody. Who the fuck? No, I'm gonna need you to clear the road. This whole valley comes up as blurry on Google Maps. Jupiter's claim? Quick if you go the other way around. Yeah. What did happen with Jim Park and all? Mm-hmm. That's exactly what I thought. What? You don't believe the flood narrative, do you? Fuck guys. It's TMZ. Yeah. It's somebody TMZ? who's found them from the internet and wants to know what's going on. Some kind uh -huh. of UFO paparazzi bullshit. Okay. What's the matter? Don't you want to be on TV? Mm -hmm. Man, I'm trying to tell you. You don't want to go that way. Okay, so he really, like, he's no one special. He's just some douchebag paparazzi thing. Yeah. Yeah, there's no way it's getting all that TV attention and not getting people fucking around. Yeah. Pop quiz, guys. Nope. What happens nope. when an electric bike going 60 miles per hour hits an anti-electric field going in the opposite direction? About to find out. Well, at least he's wearing a helmet. I'm sure he's fine. I believe we call this fucking around and finding out. I mean, there's no way he would suspect that. Like, I, I mean. I mean, I would argue that's exactly what he was going to try to find out. What? Not what, exactly, what happened? Like, yeah, yeah, well, he was trying to find out. But like, there's no reason why he would suspect there's an anti-electricity field that would stop no. his bike, right? Like. But she did warn him not to go. <laughs> Yeah, which would honestly just make, if I were the type to chase these things, I would be even more suspicious, you know? Like, that would just make me more suspicious. Like, why are they trying to keep me away from the truth? Like, that's kind of weird. Look at me, look at me, look at me. What happened? Listen, listen. We also, what is that helmet? Why is he helping this dude? Oh, he is too nice. Because, yeah, I, I mean, I don't want to leave someone to die if I can avoid it. He's our hero. He's got to be good. Whatever. <laughs> okay. OJ, if you die trying to save that guy, I'll kill you. No, no, no. Who is this guy? Shit job. Not before you take a picture. Ah! Just take a picture first. Who is he? Like, he's, it's just, it feels so weird. Something about him feels weird. I don't know why. I don't know. It's just something about him it's feels weird. Here. What is that? My bad, man. He tried. But why did the guy, like, that was just, the whole rider thing was weird. I don't understand what the whole, like, what was that whole thing? I, I'd love to hear viewers' thoughts on the whole rider situation, because that guy was, like, what was that, that paparazzi? Mm. Why was his helmet so weird? Like, yeah, tell us about all that the trivia stuff. Weird. Yeah. Yeah, we want to know your secret stuff for the movie. Well, that one stopped screaming a lot quicker than the others. Oh, because it was just one. It probably took the creature a while to swallow everything it ate earlier. That's why it didn't throw up earlier with the horses. It only threw up once it got the flags and the... That's why we weren't finding blood everywhere earlier. Because it wasn't think... puking up blood and stuff. It wasn't until it took up all of that inorganic material that it was puking at such a... At such a high rate at the over the house. It also appears to me that he's dressed himself to look like the flailing arm people because once it takes oh. one of those, it knows that it's not organic matter. Oh, you're smart. Well, thank you. <laughs> oh, it's got the eyes in the back of the head so that it'll follow the eyes because it only follows yeah. the eyes, so he's luring it. I see. It doesn't nice. like the flags. I was waiting for that. 
They mentioned it earlier. Yeah. OJ, you're a motherfucking genius. We got it. We got it. Is it? I mean, you're all still there. You haven't shown this footage to anyone. The light. Gonna be magic, sound. We don't deserve the impossible. What? What? What is Michael Wincott doing? He's an artist. Holmes just had some creepy cryptic. <laughs> took his camera and is heading up the mountain. He wants to get the perfect shot, I imagine. Golden hour. Yeah, but if you get eaten. I imagine it'll take your camera, too, and your footage. Yeah, I don't know what's... Also, for those uh, who don't know, golden hour uh, refers to a specific time of day, like, before evening, when the light is perfect for filming. That's why he wants golden hour. What an... Like... I get art and all, but that was very stupid. No, no, not Angel! Oh, no. Don't look. Oh, it's like a different shape now. Mm-hmm. Okay, it had some sort of eye thing. But that's like the opposite of how most hunters hunt. They don't want the prey to see them. Like... It's territorial. Right. Like with bears, like he said, like different animals, you react differently. So this, if you show deference to it, it leaves you alone. Yeah. Like, if there's a dog that's upset, you don't try to stare it down. Yeah. Em, he's sacrificing himself for you. You better go. Wow. I love a good monster. Very interesting design. Nice. She knows her motorcycles. Riding motorcycles is well? in the desert is fun. Is that well camera going to come into play? There you go. Oh, she's going to get a photo of it with the well. You know what? That sort of looks a bit like in a biblical angel. Hmm. Yeah, I'm, I'm really like getting biblical angel vibes from it with the weird eye and the odd shape and the grand. Yeah. Nice job. Oh! Pop goes the monster? Yes! Adios. All that effort and like, what if they like the just the news got it so they don't need that anymore, you know? So you're gonna welcome them? I don't think OJ made it. I meant the public. Yes.
Okay, we're gonna get the classic monster movie, like, it nope. might not really be dead. <laughs> nope. <laughs> I don't think we are. Jordan Peele doesn't seem like the type to sequel bait. That was so much fun. <laughs> First of all, uh, just like technically, that was a beautiful movie. It was beautifully shot. Mm-hmm. Um, as as you commented several times, the sound design, the sound, the way they used sound was brilliant. Production design was great. Um, Visually stunning. I loved the monster design. Yeah. Uh, I like that it, it, it became something more than just a circle by the end. Um, in terms of, uh, like plot structure and, and, and I talk about a lot of pacing, um, it, it was, it's long for a horror movie. It's, it's two hours and 10 minutes just about, uh, which is pretty long for a horror movie. Mm-hmm. Um, but I was never really bored. Uh, the characters are likable, uh, easy to, easy to understand, easy to follow, um, while, while having a lot going on. It, it never felt like it was lagging or stopping or boring. Like, I, I think it was very well paced. Yeah, I felt like the cinematographer went out a little strangely. Yeah. Just slightly anticlimactic there. Um, there was also, there was nothing to indicate that he was that kind of artist. Like, yes, he was a, an artiste who was looking for the impossible shot, but to the point that he would, like, knowingly go to his death for it felt a little forced or at least that he wouldn't take even the most remote precautions of some kind it it felt a little i don't know rushed yeah like i i like the concept but i'm not sure i really like the execution of that particular part Um, i also i mean i guess one so that would be one thing in terms like plot pacing that was a little weird also, the 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 weird paparazzi film guy with that bizarre helmet. Mm-hmm. What did that add to the movie? It gave her a motorcycle to get away. Yeah, I guess, but, but like, there's other ways that could have been done because she mentioned that she was good with motorcycles, so they could have just had one. Yeah, I do feel like it made it a little bit, perhaps, more real world, realistic because it's very likely that some idiot would show up to do something like that. (laughs) Yeah. I mean, I'm not even going to call him an idiot. He was chasing a story. Something really weird happened that no one is talking about. No one knows. So they, she seemed kind of suspicious, right? He showed up looking for a story, looking for the truth. And her response was, no, you don't want to go there. You don't want to go there. You you don't want to go that way. That's very suspicious, right? Yeah. I mean, also, 40 people disappeared. I don't know. Yeah. Personally, and I would probably heed warnings in that scenario. But you never would have gone there in the first place. Like, it's a certain type of personality that's going to go there in the first place. Right? And that personality is going to ignore very odd and suspicious warnings. Yeah, like, and I, that's why I feel like it was kind of realistic that yes, he was there. Yeah, yeah agreed. <laughs> Uh, Angel M and um, OJ felt very grounded but yeah. it seemed like a lot of the characters around like at the very beginning some of the um, in like the opening film thing they felt a little weird like the director just something about it felt a little weird um, it didn't have a lot of outright scares but it did have some legitimately disturbing moments uh, especially like the scenes yeah. with the chimp the scenes yes. with the chimp were by far the most disturbing. Um, Agreed. Where the blood started raining down and, you, and and when you could see it from OJ's perspective from the distance, that was legitimate. Pre- like, it was creepy. I loved that it. Was, it. That was not pleasant, yeah. It felt viscous, visceral, like. Visceral, not yeah. Just, not just watery, red water. Like, it felt like it had some thickness to it, which I appreciated. It was done very well. For sure. I, agree. I really enjoyed um, that moment. <laughs> yeah, I, I love that whole that whole sequence with the with the with it going over their house and then raining down stuff mm-hmm. over them. 
Yeah, and the rain stopping while it was over top. I thought that was fantastic. That was a really that, good point of the movie. That gave it, by by having the rain sort of stop just where the creature was, which it makes perfect sense because it's blocking the rain, but it also, in addition to that, gives it an almost otherworldly, alien feeling to what's going on. Like, mm-hmm. you are no longer, while you are under this thing, you are no longer part of the laws of the world. You are now beholden to different laws. Mm-hmm. Um, which, which was conveyed very well. I felt. I'm a little bit surprised that they didn't connect the chimp scene more, outside of the message of just Hollywood sort of abusing. Yeah. Animals. Um, like I thought like, that that would be more connected somehow. You could have, and also like Joop's, Joop's whole character, like he shared one scene with them and then another scene from very far away. And that was it. Like, if I had any criticism, it would be that it almost feels like the entire Joop subplot, Jupiter's Creek or Ju- whatever it was called, you could have gotten rid of that and just had it, you know, just had the the creature having eaten the town one, like, you know, the, the nearby small town of 40 people. Right. Because, like, it could be that there's just a town nearby that 40 people, you know, 40, 50, 60 people live in. And they happened that day. It was a town fair. So everyone was out and about when the creature came and ate them all. Yeah. And I feel like that could have accomplished the same thing without the entire Jupe subplot. And if you wanted to tell the the particular story of trying to tame or control the creature... And having it turn on you, you also didn't need the child actor sitcom story to tell that. You know what so. you could have done with it? You could have had it as a flashback with young Daniel, with young OJ and his father at on like a, an old movie set where someone wasn't careful and the tragedy occurred. You could have had it, and that would have been, um, I think that would have worked better because that would have tied it into our main character's backstory. Yeah. And a lesson he had to learn about dealing with animals. Maybe he made a mistake or something that that led to someone being injured or something like that. Uh, Plus, selfishly, it would have given us another scene with Keith David, which that would have just made me happy. Yeah. I was, I was, I, I am also just like, this has, this is not a criticism of the movie. This is me purely being obsessed with certain actors. Mm -hmm. Getting Keith David for that opening scene and then getting him for two minutes in the middle. I was just like, why do you tease me? Why do you have Keith David there? And then you have him and Keith David in the credits. And that's it. We have, he has about five minutes total screen time. Yeah. We could do with more Westerns like this. (laughs) Yeah. Uh, Overall, I liked it. Overall, I enjoyed this movie. Uh, I know we just sort of laid on a bunch of criticisms, but it's not this movie was bad. It's these are some things that I think could have made it better. Um, Yeah, it's rare that I come across any film that I don't have any criticisms about. And that doesn't make it bad at all. It just helps us discuss and learn. How many movies has Jordan Peele made now? Three that I'm aware of, uh, I believe. Um, Get Out, Us, and... um, and I haven't no. seen Us yet. Us was, go- oh, Us scared me. Okay, we will add it to the list for Us. Us scared, Us was scary. Us was good. Okay. Of his three movies, Us was the one that scared me the most. Okay. For sure. I thought it was a really fun ride. I loved a lot of the design. The critiques are pretty minor. Um, yeah. Yeah. I It did feel like it wasn't, a two-hour film yeah i loved the i liked a lot of the main characters um nope 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 instead of it being sort of cringy when it had the name drop the title drop it was more like um i kept wanting to hear it more almost like i was excited (laughs) when it happened (laughs) could you imagine if um if in indiana jones the temple of doom someone had said there it is the temple of doom even though like Who's calling it the Temple of Like that would have that would have felt kind of forced, right? Mm-hmm. Um, Particularly if but, somebody said, "Look, there is Indiana Jones and the Temple of Doom." <laughs> but when your movie is called Nope, it's much easier to slip in Nope in there. Yeah, and obviously uh, we haven't really mentioned it because it's not necessarily our place. But I think it's important just to bring it up. 
Um, I love that Jordan Peele is continuing to make black led movies. Um, Absolutely. And a lot of times you see like black actors, they kind of have to, I don't want to say act white, but like they're not speaking the way that someone raised in black culture necessarily would. They're speaking the way white writers write them. Right. Um, and so the dialogue just felt there, the interaction between M and OJ, the dialogue, it felt very natural. Different cultures speak different ways. There are certain ways that I, as a Jewish person speak, uh, that Anglo-Saxon Americans are not going to speak. It's wonderful to see more representation in, in media. Mm-hmm. Um, and not, and both behind, both in front of the camera and behind the camera. So yeah. I am just can't wait to see what Jordan Peele does next. I yeah. just, I've, I've liked every one of his movies. Um, Daniel Kaluuya is a brilliant actor. Uh, Kiki Palmer, I'm not familiar with her elsewhere, but she was fantastic in this. I know she's in something else I've seen and I enjoyed her in. I'd love to uh, hear our viewers' thoughts. Uh, what do you think of the movie? Do you have any anything to offer about, about that weird like motorcycle rider? Because that one is really like... I, I can't wrap my mind around that one. Um, any any thoughts on on that? What that was? Why the helmet? Why he never took off? Is it like it just it felt so random? Like you could have cut out that entire thing and just had a motorcycle there some 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 other way, and it would have been fine. Uh, so I'd love I'd love to hear thoughts on that specifically. But obviously, we yeah. love your thoughts. Um, on, Tell us on- about the lore. Tell us about your analysis. Give us the trivia. We want to know. <laughs> We're going to be coming up on Adam's Family Values for Thanksgiving. And yep. we still have a poll going for our November movie to watch. So if you want to vote in that, $2 on our Patreon in the description. Yep. And check out the other tiers. Maybe something will uh, catch your fancy. And uh, we look forward to uh, reading your comments and uh, seeing you next time. Thanks so much. Bye. Happy Halloween.